Hi there, my name is Colette Van Pamel. I am an artist ambassador with mascara. I'm very proud to say that. And I'm also here to tell you that recruiting is not scary. And if I hadn't gotten over myself and started recruiting, I would have never made this rank. So to me, that's very important. And especially if I wanna go all the way to the top, which I do, I have to recruit. The word recruit itself is a little scary. I'll give you that because it's just got a bad rap. It makes it sound like we are going out and grabbing people by the arm or the hair or whatever and forcing them into something that isn't good for them. Mascara Beauty is the exact opposite. As you know, why did you join? You have to think about why did you join? What did you love about the company? What did you see as a vision for yourself? Um, was it an extra income? Was it time freedom? For me, time freedom is what I crave. And the only way I'm ever going to be able to do that is, or to have the freedom that I do want, is to have a residual income down the road. I have to build a team. Building a team has been one of the best parts of this entire business, besides the money Beside all of it, I have built literal lasting friendships with people that I would have otherwise never have met. That alone is life changing because they bring so much to my life. Hopefully I contribute to their life and we are building a community. People want to be a part of a community. Most people want to be a part of a community and you can build it and you can set the tone for it any way you want. So you have to take yourself out of the equation. You have to get over yourself and realize it's really not about you. It's about what you have to offer them. You can't prejudge or you shouldn't ever prejudge that Sally is not going to be interested in this opportunity for whatever reason. You don't ever really know until you ask if somebody might be interested. And you can always start the conversation with um, this may or may not be for you, but if you're interested in learning more about what I do and why I love it so much, I would love to sit down and chat. I would love to have a phone conversation. So you're going to do it in a conversational way and it's going to be less formal and, and icky. So the other thing is I don't want you to also do what I did and wait until you think you have it all figured out because chances are you're never going to think you have it all figured out. I don't think I have it all figured out and it's normal to worry that you don't know enough or you're not good enough or you've never been a leader before. I would encourage you to just do it. Just jump in and do it. Nobody is expecting you to be an expert. You don't know the answer your upline probably does and if she doesn't know the answer her upline probably does and everything this is one of my favorite phrases everything is figure outable so don't let that be your reason why you don't talk about the opportunity because it's really not a great reason there are so many tools and resources um, facebook groups trainings the conferences, there is so much information out there that's accessible to everybody that you, there, there are artists that have already paved the way for us. We're so, so lucky on that. So take advantage of that. Use that to your benefit. And don't think that your new artist is going to expect you to know everything. Just, they should expect from you that you'll help them and you'll help them find the answer and you'll guide them in the right direction. And I know that you can do that. So those are my tips and I want to tell you that once I did finally get my mindset right around why I'm doing this, why I want to bring people in to join me, why I don't want to keep it all to myself, not only was I recruiting people in, but I started attracting people to me and that's exactly what you're going to do. You do have to make sure that you are consistently letting people know. If you're primarily on social media, Facebook, Instagram, make sure that you are offering this 
consistently. And I don't mean every day, pressure, pressure, but at least once a week, share the opportunity, share why you love it, share why one of your artists loves it. And I hope this was helpful. I hope 2020 and beyond is just going to be incredible for you. And thank you.